What's up guys, Matt here from Matt Mines Crypto. Today, we're gonna to talk about how do you cash out the TFT token. If you're running a three-fold uh, Titan V2.1, if you're running a three-fold uh, three-node, uh, you're earning TFT tokens every single month and they're getting accumulated in your three-fold connect wallet here. Um, so if you want to cash it out into your bank account, if you want to convert it to another cryptocurrency, you need to move it to another platform, another exchange, and I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. With that said, let's get right into it. All right, we're back, and like I said, if you're watching this, you're earning TFT token somehow, whether you're running a three-fold uh, Titan V2.1, or you're running a um, tight uh, three-fold uh, three-node, somehow you're earning TFT tokens, uh, and right now you're earning them to your uh, three-fold connect wallet on your phone. Um, so if you're looking to cash out, move them to your bank account, or you're looking to convert them to another cryptocurrency, it's a little bit of a convoluted process, but I have it for you, and I'm gonna walk you from step uh, A to Z and get you through this process. So stick with me. Uh, there's a couple things that we need to be doing. Um, any questions you have, please ask in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. So uh, let's get started with what that process is. So like I said, uh, right now we're earning our TFT tokens to our phone, our threefold connect uh, wallet. Uh, so we need to take them from there and we need to move them to our MetaMask wallet through a uh, threefold BSC bridge, which I will link in the description below. All the website links will be linked in the description below. So we're gonna have to move them, like I said, from the threefold app to our MetaMask wallet. Once they're in our MetaMask wallet, we're gonna swap them out for another token uh, on PancakeSwap. And once we do that, then we're gonna move them from our MetaMask wallet to an exchange where we can cash them out. So. Like I said, bear with me. We're gonna walk you through this step by step. There's a couple things we need to do first. Uh, so let's get it started. So here's a little screen share. So the first thing I wanna do is go into my MetaMask wallet. You wanna make sure you're in your Binance Smart Chain MetaMask wallet. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is import the TFT token. So once you click import, you're, it's gonna ask for a token contract address. There is one of two ways I like to get the uh, contract address. One way is to go to coingecko.com. You type in threefold, it will populate here, and you'll see that under info, you'll see the contract address. You just click the copy right there. The other way is to go to a BSC scan, and you'll do the same exact thing. You would go to search for the token, threefold token or TFT. It's gonna upload. You'll see contract here, and you'll just copy the address right there. So from there, you'll go back into your MetaMask wallet. You'll go to the bottom there, import tokens. You're gonna paste the address right there. You'll see it populated. Add custom token, import tokens. Cool. You'll see TFT is now in your wallet here. So you're good to go there. So now that you have that done, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go into our um, threefold connect wallet on our phone. I'm gonna do a little uh, screen record here and then I'm gonna upload it to the, um, the video here so you can see what I'm doing step by step the entire process. And as you can see now, I'm gonna open up the threefold connect wallet. Top left, you're gonna click, hit wallet. You're gonna log in here. Once you're in here, you're good. So now um, I forgot one step. I'm gonna take that down real quick and then I'm gonna bring this back up. There's a link in the description to go to this uh, TFT Binance Chain Bridge. So once you're on this site, you're gonna hit connect wallet. You're gonna connect your MetaMask Binance wallet. Connect, connect. And you're gonna click deposit from Stellar. You're gonna understand. And now that you're here, we're gonna be scanning this QR code in a second. So now back to um, the screen share here. You're gonna hit send coins and you're gonna hit the scan QR code right here at the top. Once you do that, it's gonna uh, bring up a, a, a camera. You're gonna scan the image on the screen and you'll see it uploaded uh, the wallet address that we're sending it to. From there, you're gonna select the amount that you want to transfer. I'm gonna send uh, 250 TFT tokens. Um, there's a, a 50 uh, TFT uh, charge to transfer. Uh, you'll see that in a second. Uh, so I'm moving 250 TFT tokens and I'm gonna hit send. 
I'm gonna confirm that. And you can see successfully transferred tokens. It's missing from my wallet there. So now that that's done, I'm gonna check my MedMask wallet here and see if those tokens are in there. And you can see exactly that. I moved 250, I said there's a 50 TFT uh, fee to transfer. Uh, so 250 minus 50 is 200 TFT tokens, which are now in my MetaMask wallet. So now that they're sitting there, we need to convert uh, the TFT tokens to something else that we can end up moving to our bank account, right? How are we going to do that? We're going to go to PancakeSwap. So we're going to go to PancakeSwap. Once again, this is linked in the description down below. We're going to go to Trade, Swap. You're going to connect your wallet in the top right hand corner. I've already connected and you're gonna go down here and you're gonna see that it automatically populated that I have the TFT token right here. So I'm gonna click that. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky uh, because what we need to do is um, convert um, the TFT, the threefold token to uh, Binance. And what we're gonna do is send the Binance to KuCoin and if you use KuCoin, that's your uh, end game, right? You're gonna end up selling the Binance token on KuCoin uh, to uh, USDT or uh, USDC and then be able to cash out um, to your bank account if that's where your KYC. Otherwise, you're gonna take an additional step like myself uh, to be able to sell the BNB uh, for USDC or USDT and then send that over to Coinbase where you'll then convert it. So uh, there's just one additional step if you use Coinbase, uh, if you use KuCoin and your bank account set up there, uh, well then the next step is uh, your end game. So let's do that here. So we're gonna select a BNB. We're gonna send all 200 uh, TFT tokens. We're gonna click, you can't see it, my head's in the way, but it says swap right there. You're gonna hit swap. You're gonna confirm swap. I'm gonna confirm one more time on MetaMask here. And you're gonna see it's, uh, it's uh, swapping for 0 0.0387. Just so that uh, we remember that. I already have BNB on MetaMask, so I don't need to add it there. And you can see, oh, it uh, went through. So you'll now see that BNB, yep, it's now in my uh, MetaMask wallet here. So now we need to take it from our MetaMask wallet and send it to KuCoin. So we'll go to KuCoin. Um, we need our Binance wallet. Binance, we're gonna deposit into our Binance wallet. We have to select the network. It's always a BEP20 when you're dealing with MetaMask and you're gonna copy this wallet address. So you're gonna go into MetaMask. We're sending to that address I just copied. We're gonna send all of it. Oh, no, we're not um, because we're leaving some of it. What it is 0 0.0387 is what we're sending. I like to keep some BNB in there uh, for uh, transfer fees uh, when I'm doing other transactions. So, um, I'm going to pause this video for a second because it could take a minute or two for it to send. Uh, it's pending right now. I'll be right back as soon as um, it, um, it sends. All right, so uh, we're back. You can see that the 0 0.0387 BNB hit my account. So now what we need to do is we need to sell the BNB. So what we're going to do is, well, first off, if your end game is KuCoin, uh, you'll still sell it and then you'll be able to cash out uh, that from there to your bank account. I don't have my bank account set up uh, with KuCoin, so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to skip over that step. But if you do, or if you are KYC with KuCoin, that's what you would do. So uh, the BNB got sent to my main account. I need to hit transfer to my trading account. Send all of it. Confirm. It's now my trading account. From there, I want to trade it. And let's see. I decide what I want to do. Let's do uh, USDC. So let me move my head. Cool, because we're going to be dealing in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to be spot trading. We're going to click market. 
and we're gonna be selling all the BNB that we moved over there. So the 0.0387, and we're gonna sell the BNB. So now we did that. We're gonna go into assets. It's gonna be in our trading account. We're gonna move that USDC back over to our main account. Confirm. We're gonna click main. And we'll see that it's in the main account now. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is withdraw it. So withdraw. And this is where you have to enter your wallet address here. And where do you get that? Since we're moving into Coinbase, we go to Coinbase, send receive, receive there. We're typing in USDC. We're gonna click that and we're gonna copy that wallet address. We're sending it ERC20 as you can see. And this is where we're gonna come up with an issue. I know we're gonna have an issue here, but I can talk us through this. So I'm gonna enter that wallet address it's gonna select the network, it's ERC20, and uh, gas fees on the Ethereum network are higher, right? So it's uh, it's $20 to send right now, and I'm only trying to transfer $11 because I was just doing a small sample size. So keep that in mind when you're transferring uh, things around, you're gonna to wanna to transfer uh, larger sums of money. I just did a little bit of my uh, TFT tokens uh, to show an example here, uh, to do a little tutorial. So you're gonna pick the ERC20, and I'm not gonna be able to do it, because I don't have enough funds, right? So I'm gonna try to hit it, but unfortunately I can't send it to my uh, Coinbase account because I don't have enough for the gas fees. So what you do, you'd end up hitting withdraw here. It would send over to your Coinbase account. You would then have USDC in here and you would end up withdrawing uh, the USDC to your bank account from there. So I know um, I didn't get to walk you from A to completely Z, but we got to about X or Y somewhere around there, right? But um, yeah, pretty much that's the process. Uh, if uh, KuCoin is your end game where you're hooked up to uh, your bank account, well then uh, you know how to uh, off ramp from there. If you're going all the way to Coinbase, well then uh, I got you almost all the way there. All you gotta do is have enough gas in there and hopefully not be just moving uh, $10 of TFT uh, from the uh, Threefold Connect wallet. So. Hopefully that was helpful. I know it was quite the process, uh, but uh, Threefold doesn't make it super easy, nor does uh, Coinbase when it comes to Binance Smart Chain. So uh, any questions, ask them in the comments below. Please give me a like, give me a subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. I like helping people. So with that said, we'll catch you guys in the next one.